Have you ever wondered what the fascination over horses is with little girls? They aren't just loved by rich and prissy preteens. At some point, boys have also dreamed of being cowboys in the Wild West, lassoing and bucking their stallions while racing to fight off the bandits. In this video, you will see the 10 most unbelievable horses there are. And no, we are not talking about the overly muscled horse or the horse that has horse spelled on its coat. We are talking about the prettiest and most unique horse breeds in the equine world. The Falabula horse is named after the Argentinian family of horse breeders who developed the unique breed in 1845. A registry is kept by the family dating back to 1940s, to keep track of the purebred horses. Only horses that have 100% Falabula ancestry can be recognized as a Falabula horse, anything less is considered another breed entirely. The Falabula is an internationally accepted and recognized breed. What is so special about the Falabula is that they are the original miniature horses. It can be said that some miniature horse breeds have come from them. When fully grown they can stand tall between 28 inches to 34 inches and is well proportioned as any regular horse but unlike other horses they only have 17 vertebrae instead of 18 and is one pair of ribless. A foal can only be as tall as 12 inches to 22 inches. Falabulas are a hit among kids due to their size and docility. They can surprisingly live up to 40 to 45 years, a good 10 to 20 years than regular sized horses. If you have never heard of a waterproof horse, the Exmer pony is as close as you can get to one. They are a rare breed whose ancestry can be dated back to prehistoric times. Although they were able to survive 50,000 years in the wild, there are reportedly only 800 of them left despite preservation and breeding practices. Sadly, they were largely used as target practice and poached for their meat during World War II. Native to the moors of southwest England, these small horses possess a beautiful thick coat with oily hair that repels water and snow keeping them well insulated in the cold and wet climate. They also have extra fleshy eyelids that help deflect water and keep them eyes dry. Horses are often loved for their by little girls for their shiny coat and lovely mane. But would you believe one horse is most noted for its ears? The Marwari horse looks as if it is perpetually on alert with its goofy raised ears, with the tips even curling inwards and touching. They are native to India and are used in shows, ceremonies, religious practices, agriculture and transportation. During the 12th century they were strictly bred and used in the cavalry because of their loyalty and bravery in battle. They are closely related to the Kathiawari horses who possess the same ears but are smaller in structure. If human hair has a very wide variety, you may be surprised to know that there is a breed of horse that sport curly hair. Their hair resembles that of poodles and they are aptly called the curly. Curlies exhibit curls differently and there are some rare ones that have not been past the curly hair gene. Some horses minimal curls that can only be seen inside their ears, fetlocks, mane, and tail. Others have the curls all over their coats and can even have curly eyelashes and dreadlocked split manes. The more extreme ones have very tight curls to protect them in the winter and are completely shed come summer. Unlike curly human hair. This horse's curly hair is easy to care for, most people avoid combing the curly mane but they are trimmed to avoid matting. The tail can be combed, though. What is more interesting is the fact that the curlies are the only hypoallergenic horse breed because their hair is missing a protein causing allergies. They are perfect for people who are allergic to horses and other furry animals. On top of that, they are very calm, intelligent and friendly which makes them a hit. On the topic of hair, one horse known for its full head of hair is the Black Forest. They hail from South Germany. As you may see, their lush and flaxen mane may make most girls jealous if they could just flip it. Black Forest horses are very popular riding horses for their gentle nature but they were originally used for transportation of goods and forest work. The Gypsy Vanner is a breed of horse that will not line up at your local Starbucks for a sugary latte treat and take selfies on their iPhone but they will definitely remind you of American girls wearing Yiggs or Tassel boots. Their most distinct feature that sets them apart from other lush maned horses is the long and thick feathering on their lower legs and fetlocks. 
They were popular among caravaneers and gypsies during the 19th century to the early decades of the 20th century. They were chosen for their docile and hard-working nature as wagon horses that are safe to be in proximity of families with small children and do not cost an arm and leg to feed. If dogs have the smart-looking Dalmatians, horses have the Nabstrupper. They are a Danish breed of horses that have the leopard complex, a genetic mechanism that causes spotted coats. While there are piebald or skewbald horses in other breeds, the Nabstrupper are spotted in a range of coloration and some are the inverse color of others. Although there are some that are born in solid colors but they are the rare ones. Once dubbed as tiger horses, the world thought they would forever disappear in 1750 but the breed was revived in 1812 and finally called the Nabstrupper, although it is no longer known if the breed is pure due to crossbreeding. They were once royal horses but they are now mostly kept for circus acts, show jumping, and riding. If there is one horse that can sport many looks with its mane from amber to emu, from a punk mohawk to a model with long dirty blonde hair it would be the Norwegian Fjord. With its two-toned mane as a mixture of cream-colored hair lined with dark brown or black hair in the middle. It is one of the oldest breed of horses, which may be why they have gone through so much hairstyles. Despite being one of the smallest horses, Camargue horses exude a certain grace and mystique due to their almost white coat. They are not full-on white but more of a gray due to the horse black skin underneath the white coat. They stand at 135 to 150 centimeters. They are semi-feral horses that can be found in the marshes and wetlands in Camargue area of southern France. They are so popular that they have become the region's icons and tours often revolve around taking the photographs of these majestic creatures. If you wish that unicorns exists, the truth may be closer than you think. There is a breed of horses that have a metallic coloring that are just stunning and gorgeous. They look like the Barbie doll of the horse world. No matter the angle the Akhiltik stands tall and lanky and are just generally shiny. The reason for their unique sheen is that the opaque core of their hair is very thin while the transparent outer layer will refract light causing the hair to look golden. The breed originates in Turkmenistan. And as with most supermodels, the horses are a bit high maintenance. In ancient Turkmenistan, tribesmen would cover their stallions in seven layers of felt while tethered to keep the coat short and shiny. These horses are of course shown off at every possible way in modern times. It helps that these horses have one of the highest endurances. They are very popular at shows, dressage, racing, and show jumping. Wasn't that fun? We hope these horses have turned any fears or hesitation into admiration over these beautiful creatures. Why don't you share this with your horse-loving friends? We are sure they would love it. Loved our video? Give us a big like and make sure to subscribe to our channel.